This is a great British technology that could transform uh, jet flight and it could transform access to space. How will it work? Well, think of this as a conventional rocket engine that gets up to about, would move anything to about five times the speed of sound. But whereas in the past they had lots of fuel tanks behind them containing oxygen for burning the fuel and the fuel, the brilliance of this is it just collects air in the front where it's at about 1,000 degrees centigrade because this thing is moving very fast through the atmosphere. And in these pipes here, the air is cooled down to minus 150 degrees centigrade from 1,000 degrees in one hundredth of a second. And then this compressed air, close to being a liquid, is used to burn the fuel. So instead of having to have lots of oxygen tanks at the back, much more of the process can happen here. And that means it can, it's kind of a rocket that thinks it's a jet engine. It means you could fly to Sydney from London in about four hours, or you could use it to get satellites into low Earth orbit. And it's been proved to work in principle, it's been proved to work on a small scale, and we've taken the decision that this great British technology, which could be the successor to Frank Whittle and the jet engine, should be back. We're putting in £60 million to get the jobs and the technology here in Britain.